Okay. And congratulations on the new one coming. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, soon. last week I thought maybe we would be we wouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so she's holding in there today yet, so okay. we'll see. <laughs> sure. Well, if you need to keep your phone on. No, maybe. no, we're okay. all right. We're okay. all right. School will be out in a little while, okay. so we'll be in good shape. All right. <laughs> He's been there since uh, 1917. 1917? Yeah, my grandpa, no. my grandpa bought him out of Sears Roebuck. So welcome back everybody to OneBillionStories.com. We are here in Crofton, Nebraska. Did I say that right? Right, yes. And I saw as I was coming into town about 700 people right. in the town, but I'm sure there's more in this surrounding area. Mm -hmm. And we're here with Kurt Arns at his farm uh, just outside of town. And Kurt, I think I want to first talk about how long have you lived in this farmhouse behind us? Uh, this is my childhood home. Childhood yep. home. Only, the only home I've ever known except when I was in college. So. And it's how many generations back? Four generations Four in my ge family. In your family? Yes. Okay, so your great-grandfather... Owned, owned this farmstead. This, actually, this house wasn't here then. Okay. But, uh, but the farm was, was uh, one of the first ones that he purchased uh, way back in 1914. Okay. And so it's been in our family since then. Okay. So, uh, always wanted to... Uh, to write, I guess, even mm -hmm. when I was a child, and mm -hmm. I w went to school at St. Rose in Crofton, and, and the nuns, I had one, one sister there, uh, Sister Veronica, and she uh, uh, encouraged me to write more, okay. and uh, so I started doing more and more as I uh, got into high school. I uh, helped with the school annual and the school newspaper, sure. and then started sure. writing. Now, rewinding just a little bit back to Sister Veronica, right. how was it? How was it growing up in a small town in Nebraska with nuns uh, educating you? Yeah, I had all the school sisters of St. Francis okay. after our school, okay. and we had uh, eight grades, uh, about 260 kids. Okay. So it was, you know, for uh, the size of facility we have, it was huge. Yeah. We had a lot of children. Oh yeah, that and, sounds big. And uh, the school's still going now, but it's about half of that many. Okay. You know? But Sister Veronica was also the principal, and she was our second and third grade teacher at that time. Hmm. And uh, she was a history nut. <laughs> and so I think some of that came, rubbed off on me. On you, yeah. yeah. Because I love American history in particular. And uh, I don't know, she was one of those people that uh, would pull me aside once in a while and say, you know, you really are good at writing. You should write more. Hmm. And just that little, it was just a simple little thing at yeah. the time. But she yeah. was a very reverent um, compassionate person and you know people always talk about how the nuns are, are not sticklers that way. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, but I I never had that experience growing up the the school sisters here were, were very good and and I would say out of all the teachers I had throughout my life including college she was mm -hmm. probably the best wow yeah very far, neat. so very neat so a lot of who I am today probably I owed her yeah and speaking of your family how three little ones Right, I have uh, three children, two daughters, uh, okay. Lauren's 11, and Taylor is 8, and a son, Zachary, and he's 4, and we're expecting our fourth child any day. <laughs> any day, maybe any hour. <laughs> Anytime, yes. It'll be very soon. Very good, very good. And now, just a little side note, when I was coming up here to Crofton, I was listening to a CD, and it, it's a CD with speeches from Pope John Paul II, mm -hmm. and... In his, early in his pontificate, uh, he came to the United States mm -hmm. and he visited Chicago, Boston, New York, I think Washington DC on this mm -hmm. trip as well. And then he took a, a helicopter ride to rural Iowa. Right. And I don't know if you remember this, I believe it was maybe the eight, late 80s. 78. Se I oh, 70, was. okay. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he celebrated a mass with, I think, I want to say, it said 400,000 people, just mm -hmm. farmers from all across the Midwest came together mm -hmm. for Pope John Paul. You weren't by chance, you weren't there, were you? No, I wanted to be there. Okay. Oh, yeah. so you know about this. Yeah, I was in eighth grade. Okay. And, uh, my parents wanted to go, um, 
but for some reason it was probably something going on with the farm. Sure. And we just couldn't get away. Sure. And so going I, driving right off that covered bridge. Don't you know that they're coming round to get you Standing right behind you The rise are fixed on me too Can you feel all the dirt from their money Leather from their